up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Let's bring in our Bratz shelves and rearrange our room to be a space for a doll collector. The Bratz shelves match up perfectly with these walls. I tend to make everything able to fit on our shelves, which is awesome because it makes everything compatible. But removing the floors from our hidden box room idea is totally making this easy because I don't have to worry about matching things up. I lay it on a piece of poster board and it works. And this room is pretty large. Okay, okay, I'll stop gushing about the walls. But seriously, we make them in this video right here. Today, we're gonna have fun looking at some dolls for dolls. I found some more Funko Bitty Pop Disney figures in my toy bin. I bought these at Five Below a while ago for $3.25. I was going to put them in an earlier Dolls for Dolls video, but ran out of time. So let's open it today. And we have Chip. I wanna say we opened Dale in an earlier video, but where is he? Honestly, we're going to have to get around to making a store for our Bitty Pops so we can keep them all in one place. On the back, we can see all the figures in this series. Right now, we have two minis and Chip. Looks like there are four different minis that we could get. And this is another mini. Yeah, and it's not a double. Let's open another one. We got Mickey. How cute would these be on like a Disney fan desk? Oh, like a little Illy Forever desk. Sitting right next to a little themed book bag. And this one is difficult to open. And it is Princess Minnie, which means we have all the minis and no doubles. So I think I'm gonna quit with this series while I'm ahead but I do have more Disney princesses to find. Five Below has strawberry shortcake figures. Like what? This is like the strawberry shortcake of my childhood. I grew up on strawberry shortcake, rainbow bright, Care Bears. On the back, we can see other figures in this collection. I wanted to see how they would look next to a one six scale doll. Could they be dolls for dolls? They are $5 each. I think I would have been a little happier around three. There's a card that says the name of the character and it could totally be used as like some dollhouse art, like maybe in a baby's room. Here is a collector's guide and a little write up about the character on the back. I have some feelings about the wordage. I might be overthinking it, but I'm just gonna move on. Here's the strawberry shortcake figure. Both figures are finished all the way around. The paint looks pretty neat. Lots of little details like curls in their hair. Is it possible to balance them to stand? Yeah, yes it is. I also found Rainbow Bright. This is the character Tickled Pink, who also comes with a card and a collector's guide and character info. All of these figures are about the same size, standing around two and a half inches tall. So they're around the same height, if not a little smaller than a micro Barbie. So yeah, I totally think they could be used as Dolls for Dolls, as well as Polly Pocket. In our Dolls for Dolls videos, y'all are always saying, Toya, use Polly Pocket. And I actually have a pretty large reboot Polly Pocket collection. We showed using them as Dolls for Dolls in our Toy Box 3D printer video. I picked these up at Target. We get a small metal car with wheels that roll, a Polly Pocket figure that can move at the waist, at the arm, and we can make her sit down so we can place them into the car. And she comes with a pet. This one is a panda. It fits inside the car on a little peg right next to her. It looks like the different characters have different themes. This one has a cat theme and her hair is kind of rubbery. She comes with a tiny orange cat that could totally be a pet for a Mini Bratz doll. Mini Bratz are totally my favorite dolls for dolls right now. When I found that sale on series two Mini Bratz a while back, I bought the whole case, or rather what was left in the case for 2 dollars 
because we still have a few that we are hoping to add to our mini collection, like the mini retro swing chair. And I want the Sasha Wintertime Collection. They are some of my favorites, along with the Slumber Party dolls. We have two minis to open. This one feels promising. Please let this be the retro swing chair. And it... Oh, it is! I finally found it! The Bratz Retro Swing Chair in Miniature. I am having a great week on completing some collections. Let's take it out of the box to get a closer look. And it's three pieces and the chair actually swings. It easily fits on our little shelf where we can place the Polly Pocket Cat inside. And the other mini is... Oh, slumber Party Yasmin! I didn't even know that these two came together. Wearing a pink robe and little frog pants, she's finished all the way around and looks great on the shelf. Let's open another one because we're still looking for that wintertime Sasha. Both of these feel like doll boxes. The first one is... Megan Bratz Pretty and Punk, a double. And the other one is... Nevra, another double. Five Below has the new Littlest Pet Shops. On the case, it says no doubles. So hopefully we have two different characters today. This is series one. It looks like there are 18 different characters and we get a virtual code. I kind of love the packaging. It reminds me of like Build-A-Bear or a little pet box. Let's open it up. Littlest pet shops can be used as pets for our dolls, but I think they would work better as like figures or plushies that are made of plastic. The figure comes wrapped in tissue and we have a plant. That's a cute little mini that we can totally use in the dollhouse. And our pet is number 18. And oh, we got the bobble. It comes with a card and a code to use virtually. To use at littlestpetshop.com slash play, we get a collector's guide with 65 plus pets to collect. Here they are with our doll. Yeah, I think we could put it on a shelf and say that it's a stuffed animal. Oh yeah. And here's our doll with Polly Pocket. I really like that the Littlest Pet Shops come with an accessory. So let's open another. And this should not be a double. So I'm expecting a new figure. And we have pet number seven. It's pink and comes with binoculars. i rather have another plant. What about Monster High Polly Pocket? I love when the brands cross over. We're getting Polly Pocket with a Monster High theme. I bought this from Target Online. I think it was about $19. And Littlest Pet Shops are $3.99 at Target instead of $5 at Five Below. But yes, I paid $19.99 for the Monster High Polly Pockets. We're getting some fun box art right there. On the back, there's a picture of the playset and some of the features. Let's open it up. I wonder if there is something we can do with this packaging. Some assembly is required. We just have to put the two sides together to make our little Monster High Polly Pocket case. Then we can open it up and check out everything inside. On the bottom, we have a basketball court or casketball court, a little skate park, a seating area. Then this flips up for the coffin bean. There's a table and chairs. The chairs can move. Lots of little foot pegs here to hold the figures in place. On the top, there is a bookcase that can move with printed images of pets and stairs. On the other side, it looks like we have a lab with some sculpted details. There's a Monster High desk with a book, an eye coffin, and some pencils sculpted onto the top. We can place it on the back of the scene on a little peg. We get a small Claudine figure, Draculaura, and Frankie to place in the scene. It looks like there is a small trap door and when we move this shelf, she's gone. Then we can go to the bottom floor and there she is. The figure falls into a small coffin bed. There are printed images on the wall. 
two more beds for Frankie and Claudine on the side. There is a peg so Draculaura can hang from the ceiling. There are faux stairs on the side and some little lockers that we can open. Can you see that? On the bottom, we can add a brain couch where the minifigures can chill. There's a casket ball hoop and a tiny casket ball. Ah, missed. But it looks like we can place it on their hand so they can make a casket. There's a tiny skateboard. Looks like a video game, a tray of food, a book, and two cafe drinks. I love that Polly Pocket gives us these little scenes. I wonder if we can use some of the packaging from our minis today to make a small room for our mini brats. Inside the strawberry shortcake box, we have a little insert that gives us pink walls with pale yellow polka dots. The rainbow bright box gives us purple. Let's use this for some walls. I cut it down to two and a half inches or something slightly smaller so it'll be able to fit on our shelves. I decide where I want it to go. I use my X-Acto knife to cut out little details like a doorway and or a window. Cut the leftover box into thin strips that we can cut and glue around the openings to frame the door and window. Tape or glue the walls to the floor, add some baseboards, take the clear plastic from packaging, tape or glue it behind the window to look like glass to make a Dolls for Dolls doll room. We can add the little swing chair by the window to give this tiny room some furniture. And I love that since we have a little window, we can play with light. Cut out pictures from the collector's guide to make tiny posters to go on the walls. I love this. I absolutely love this. And the cardstock from this packaging is pretty sturdy. So it makes a great little doll room. This was so much fun. Thank you for joining us while we checked out some Dolls for Dolls and made a tiny doll room. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuffTheFrogVlog and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time. Bye! Oops. <laughs> Bye! Yeah.